Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Red Flood. I'm your host, as you probably know, Mr. Mocha Lover. Sometimes Mr. Jew Lover, but usually Mr. Mocha Lover. But they came from the Vortex. France was not what it had once been. That rich, fertile, and largely peaceful land had given way in recent years to massive civil discord, daily dangers, and great uncertainty. The Jews of France were tired of uncertainty and looked forward to developing a new land in the spirit of certainty and peace. Here is an end to chaos. While we are currently doing our common struggle, get more stability, war support, political power, we get some more research bonus for industry, even though I, at the end of the last episode I said we're going to do expand the Jewish agency. So if you want to read that one again, please go ahead. I kind of forgot about that, but my goal, at least for this episode, oh, we actually do stuff too. So, uh, Let's keep like working on that city first. It's to at least beat up the kingdom of Syria, which we actually we should probably get the intelligence agency ready for that one. They don't have that much manpower, obviously more than us. And we're not exactly sure how much they have of anything, so. We got some casts, hopefully, which would be very nice. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. We got some comments to go through as well, like normal. Um, 1940 stuff first, though. Oh, that would not be bad. 1940s, better planes. Uh, ship stuff we're probably realistically not gonna be able to do too much of, so. My goal right now, though, is to push through all of these focuses as fast and as hard as possible. Wow, Germany's... Yugoslavia. Why are you... Why do I have in Romania? Why is Moldova here? Is that, is that normal? Is, is it normal to have Moldova? Oh, look at that. Slavic separatism. Yugoslavia. You are... Nikola Tesla's... What? Yeah, you guys are right. Yeah, R Red Flood is, uh... It's definitely a mod. It's definitely a mod. Holy crap. Um... Close cat, cast. I apologize for my mis uh, pronunciations, but why? Why do you have Bugenland or Eisenstadt or whatever this is? It goes to repatriation program. Now we're only getting 446 people a month, which is not very great, but whatever. Uh, integrate, integrate trade unions. That's not too bad, but a common struggle. Followed up with expand the Jewish agency. More manpower, and we have enough political power. They're not really too worried about that. These guys are doing very well. League Solar, not so much. They're international, doing quite well. But after this focus. Actually, what are we doing here? What is this? Modify the government? Yeah, I'll get that one eventually. Ethiopian militias. That's not too bad. Covert transport system. Well, I do want to keep going down this way, so we'll see what happens. Um, promote... I thought... I don't know, but for some reason I thought it said promote anal integration. No, it's Arab integration. Oh. Um, ask for military aid? Well, they're kind of busy at war. Once they're done at war, we'll, we'll ask them, but... Oh, Hebrew. Oh, we gotta really get started on doing this stuff here. Actually, we get... Oh, pop. Oh, we're getting a good war. we this one. Promote Arab integration. The pain of a recent conflict, the revolts, and the mistreatment of one another between the Jews and those Arabs is quite a stain. One that the government now wishes to expunge. Very good. That's a little bit ahead of time, but I don't care. After Recon 2s, what are we going to grab? Um, actually, let's grab some of this stuff. Let's get some more output because we could really probably use the output. Uh, so, someone said. So, apparently, we said like Beta Israel in the last episode. Like, if we could go down, like, into Africa, it's called Beta Israel. If we look in our focus tree again down here, fight for Beta Israel. Uh, some of you guys said that that it's the Beta is actually Amharic or something for like it's a word for house. So basically, for the house of Israel. So fight for the house of Israel, which I, I didn't know it was actually really cool. Thank you for letting me uh, become more knowledgeable about that. I, re I do appreciate that. So anything like I, anything that I might question or not really sure about, uh, you know, just assume I don't know anything sometimes. Well, sometimes. But stuff like that, like names and words. How is Germany doing so well? They are German, but still. Can we join the Third International? That'd be actually kind of cool. Ah, uh, since we're here, why not? We'll do this one. Because what else are we going to do here? Other company stuff? I guess. But not like we have many ships. We have no heavy equipment manufacturers either, so. Regardless, we're going to influence our neighbors. Even though we lose 25% political power. Oh, it's so bad. You lose even more stability, but you get a lot more popular social support. And Brazil's having a good time, and we get more non core manpower plus 25%, which is really good too. Influence our neighbors. Oh, there's nothing here to read. God dang it. Po popularity of popular socialism goes up by 10%. Another comment was for me to try out Iran. Actually, yeah, I definitely want to try out Iran like one or two different times. I don't think I've ever. Have I ever played Iran on this channel? I don't think I have. That's not too bad. Savak? Protect against OSS. Secularization. That's not bad. Uh, Iranians' women's liberation. Okay. And then Loyal Army. Alright, cool. Yeah, maybe around sometime. Definitely. Open to that, especially with Red Flood, because Red Flood is weird. Al Jazeera. You've kind of like got some puffy cheeks there. Uh, Anglo Arabian Oil Company. Oh, pretty typical. Kurdistan. I like your hat. Anglo Kurdish Oil Company. Some naval bombers are nice. Not sure we'll ever actually use those guys, but hey, that's okay. 
We're looking pretty good on equipment too. I mean, we're going to promote Arab integration. We're going to influence our neighbors. Holy crap, Germany did it. That is a very nice Germany now. Uh, Papa Goebbels, Papa Goebbels, can you help us please? Please, Papa Goebbels. We'll be nice to you. At least the best possible, the best we can be. Oh, more divisions, huh? I mean, we're looking pretty good. I could be wrong about that. How many divisions are we making? Uh, we're down by one, because we still need some manpower, right? We still need manpower. Recall unpopular represented as well. 95% is already pretty good. What is this? Integrate the plane. Integrating the West Bank and Negev. Wait. Sinai. Oh, hold on. We have another division first. If we need to train, just go ahead and train them. I don't really care. Um, East Bank. Transjordan Desert. Beirut and Lebanon. Uh, return from... Oh, no! We're only 300 some every month. Oh, that sucks. Um, over here, I guess... Do more fuel stuff? Where is that? Oh, is that... Huh. Foreign claims. Palestine and Kingdom of Syria has this as cores. Alright, well... Sure, why not? And let's ask for military aid now. The goal of bringing socialism to the Middle East cannot be achieved without arms, sadly. When Israel, or while Israel's arms industry is young, it would benefit us to seek technical aid from the Germans, who... Why wouldn't we ask for aid? They literally just beat the crap out of France. Now, uh, superior firepower... And might as well do that one first. And then pressure the Arab states. F puppet war goal against Jordan and the French mandate of Lebanon. People are not going to like that, but we don't care. I like it when Israelis go on the offensive. Um, or I guess Jewish people. Or both. Jordan and the French mandate. Oh, construction force, nice. So these guys, hopefully you can just blow the living crap out of them. Assembly line production is pretty nice too. Let's grab some fuel too. And you guys are up here. Well, I mean, that's Syria. So actually, let's... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to move anyways, but that'd be nice. Oh, are we, oh research stuff. Oh, my bad. 41. Let's get some Ruber. Thank you. I like that little Ruber you got there. Um, cool. Not bad. Oh, and we have some of this too. Carry naval bombers. Carry naval bomber twos. Um, I guess carry naval bombers just in general. Germany accepts. Germany has accepted our request for aid, citing the worldwide struggle of the Jewish people as a plight the socialists are sympathetic to. This is great news for us, as we will now be backed by a much more powerful ally. Great. Pressure of the Arab states. A Middle Eastern sphere. Well, Euphrates Union. The Beth Pass Four lies not in some fabled international solidarity, subject to warmongers and the whims of madmen, but in regional power blocks. Ours will be merely one of a network of social spheres that may cooperate to achieve peace or a global third international. Bro, if we can call Germany in, oh, Germany and the Jewish people working together to stamp out anything that is not, what is this, uh, before, I don't want to say the wrong thing here, socialism? T socialism together. Why not? There is, there is power in a union, as, as some people would say, right? So. Wow. I was hoping they had more, a little more manpower than that. That's not good. Seriously, I mean, yeah, they probably... Germany, release a French puppet, please. Please. Oh, this is not good. I don't know. Shot them with Iran. Okay, well, Iran. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't ally them now. I don't know, man. Wait. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, there goes Albania. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Wait, why is Germany here? Germany? Huh? What? Wait, why are you over? Did I miss? Did I miss something? Oh, the Trans Turkestan Caspian Union's over there, but oh, I want our own. But oh, Kingdom of Syria. How strong is the Kingdom of Syria? Actually, this one. Let's, let's create this too. I think we could probably take them all by ourselves. Hmm. Hmm. I want to show the world the power of Einsteinian Jewish power. We can create our own sphere, and I won't even annex other people. We're just going to puppet them. You know what? As much as I want a global third international, this one has description so far. And we'll do this one, then. Oh, let's go to war, baby. Oh, Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. Let's go in. Oh, those Jordanians have knew nothing of the Jewish might. Also, I do, like, uh, from a lot of your comments yesterday... I hope you enjoyed uh, the title of the video and just the wackiness that is this mod. And Israel. 
Um, thank you. Actually, I will pop at them. Like, I don't want to deal with that manpower. Unless we can integrate it. Like, if we could integrate this, I'd be pretty cool with that. I'd be okay. West Bank. I mean, this is the East Bank, so... Like, this is West Bank up here, so I'm not really sure what they're saying. It helps decrease world tension, maybe? Can we not do both? I don't know, man. This seems kind of bugged. But that's alright. That's okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's not okay. But whatever. I don't care. Uh, give us some of your d boys. Give us some of your boys. Because we like boys. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. Um, well, maybe some of you do. But then it contains Syrian aggression. But after we get some excavation first. Uh, there you go. Why not? We have five research slots. That's so good. So long as the Arabs to the north stand united, they present an existential threat to Israel. It is in the best interest of us all to correct their course. Absolutely. All I can say is at least we got a little bit of conflict here. They're pretty good on attack, actually. They do have four divisions here? Yeah, four divisions. But they're not as thick as uh, normal Jewish divisions. Ugh. Thick Jewish divisions are nice to have. Oh, yeah, Beirut, baby. Beirut, baby. What are we going to make? We're going like, to make a lot of babies in Beirut. Thank you. Come again. Ah. Actually, you're led by... Abd al Qadir ibn Jafar. Jafar? Ooh. Actually, how strong is your 5,000 manpower, no division? Say a little bit of equipment, though. And then these guys have 20... Even more, 28,000. Okay. Led by Halil ibn Muhammad. Well... Thank you for joining us in our own little faction. Well, soon to be a faction here. Return for... Oh, no. Oh, actually, has some manpower. Look at that. Um, Actually, are you guys guaranteed by anybody? Oh, guaranteed by the British. I wanted to go to war the Egyptians. Wait, what is this? Do we not... Do we not get to go to war with them? <gasps> um, Immigration for Germany, then. Sure, they came from the Scarlet Empire. Why don't we get... No. 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 Ghazi the first, you must be taught. Oh, uh, let's just give this... Well, the Iraq... The Iran war started now. Mosh Shmerkin. He's a seducer. He's a Jewish seducer. Ooh. Sign us up. Man. They, they cheated us out of this stuff. They cheated us out. I wanted... Actually... How far is Iran going to expand? Because if they think Iraq and Al Jazeera, I'm okay with that. All I want is Syria, man. That's all I want. Oh, we built that stuff up too. That's good. Iran seeks an agreement. Ooh! Iran has sought to create a diplomatic alliance, officially just an agreement, to partition the smallest weak pol polities. A levant to our favor, especially considering our ardent rhetoric regarding our territorial claims. Tehran has offered us to all lands beyond the Euphrates, whilst we shall not touch or interfere with their territory east of the Euphrates. Where is the Euphrates? Is that this one here? No, we go one way. Iranian Israeli relations have never been higher. We love the Persians or Iranians, whatever they want to be called this time. They came from the Scarlet Empire. And this is this one next. Transporting thousands of people from Ethiopia to Israel is no mean feat, especially as the Red Sea sees much traffic from unfriendly regimes. We should aim to make our own movements, as clandestine as possible. Nice. Germany, a mighty land with an equally iron hand in how they deal with the Jewry, has created a sort of friendship with them, at least nominally. Yet many Jews find themselves desiring to come to the promised Zionist homeland, believing that dying for a socialist republic, especially as formerly high-class society members, would be against their beliefs. Thus, many have been doing an exodus to Israel since we've appeared on the map. Entrepreneurship is key. God, this is a weird mod. That's why we love it, though. That is why we love it. Oh, I love that Ruber. Um, what else do we have around here? Not too much else we can really do. Um, that stuff is okay. Naval stuff. I like big ships, and I can't lie. Um, hmm. Oh, it is 41. I keep forgetting it's 41. We actually, man, we keep making more divisions. Someday we just gotta stop making so many. But today is not that day. Alright, so after that one. Uh, we're done with this side until it's 1944, which I think kind of sucks. I don't like this. Did wait until 1944 for that? We're doing mainstream Hebrew. As many Jews arriving in Israel do not speak Hebrew fluently, efforts must be made to promote literacy and fluency, making the ancient tongue the unifying language of our disparate people. We lose to billion research speed, but after that, what are we going to do immediately? Urgh. Okay, so obviously I'm going to go down both routes eventually. Um... I, it, is, it doesn't really matter. Because we're socialists and we're popular, I want to go with preserving these different groups here. Union of Cultures. Uh, I mean, I don't mind this one. Like, either one it doesn't matter to me. So, oh wait, hold on. But this one has... Uh, 
What is with this text? I think I'll go to go to the right, the right side. One people in Zion. Uh, hmm. Well, we're gonna preserve Yiddish, Ladino, and Aramaic. Oh, Ara Amharic. Uh, Amharic, Amharic. Oh my goodness, my pronunciations are just all over the place. I'm sorry, actually. Like at the time of recording, I'm actually very tired, so um, it is what it is, whatever. But like, my bad. Oh, and India's falling apart. And oh, hello. It, actually, does Turkey have a unique focus tree? He's got oh, Emperor Pasha, Treaty of Constantinopolis. Okay, cool. No, they don't. Oh, it's disappointing. Oh, I'd love to play as Turkey around flood sometime. All right, followed up with what? Stangang? Yeah, I mean this stuff is okay. I'll be honest here. I'll probably just go need like the console to open this up so we can just do this because I don't, I don't know why we have to wait until 1944. Einstein's the clear problem. What's what's? Is there? There's got to be a lore reason for that, right? But let's read about union of cultures. For centuries, Jews have been divided across the earth, developing their own traditions and cultures, all while remaining loyal to the people and to Jerusalem. We have to be committed to the colorfulness of our values, otherwise we'll go down the drain of history like many others before us. Let's not repeat the errors of our forefathers. But seriously, why is it 1944? Like, I get it. That's probably more than timeline when, you know, we did it in real life, but like, bro. Like, please? Oh, the Arya Mer. Are you mad? Are you mad there? Are you mad? Oh, oh yes! Oh wait, do we get golden heights? Wait, hold on, wait, what? Damascus. Oh, we're gonna get golden. Golden Jolin. Do they, can we just push? Oh, do we actually have Oh we have transfer plans, okay. Can we actually do okay there? That's fine guys. Okay. We're doing. They have up to 20 divisions. We have, we have 29. Jesus Christ. We're like a army with a state. Union of cultures. I can't imagine. I mean, we actually have more map than than that probably right now. Actually, I should have sent one of these guys over. My bad. What is Aleppo? It's the reality. That's what it is. And then, fund urbanization. Regarding infrastructure, a large part of our country is still vastly underdeveloped. As war rampaged throughout the Holy Land, most of the colonial roads were damaged and destroyed. When you start reconstruction projects and fund urbanization, they'll the people from the rural ages and pave way for more modern Israeli state. Not bad, pretty nice. We lose some political power, but that's alright with me. Oh, happy 1942. Let's get some research speed. Moshe Dayan? Oh, yes. Oh, give us those logistics, babies. Jesus Christ, Israel is nice to play as, and we're gonna pop with them. I, I, my goal is not to annex too much in this campaign at all. Led by Fuad Ibn Salim, and they don't have any focus tree, which is fine. Whatever, you answer to Israel now. Some equipment, twenty thousand manpower, some medium tanks, some light tanks. Sure, why not? Because we can. Um, I would have loved to get more factories here, but obviously we can't. We have plenty of guns though, wow. Get some trucks. We're gonna go down to two maybe. Get some light tanks maybe going. Well, I think that's gonna be it for uh conquering, but yeah, dude. What happens if we go to with these guys? Well, we had enough time. I still get to as many pokes as possible too, so we'll see what happens. We can try it. It's probably not gonna go very well. Twenty nine divisions though. Here, guys, train. Iran declared war in Bukhara. Oh, oh, are we done building? No, we're not, son. Um, there you go, do that first. I mean, if you really want to lower their autonomy, that's fine with me. And, there go the Greeks. Fun urbanization. Yeah, I don't really understand why it's like this. 1944? Uh, I'm not really sure why. Just armed nuclear capabilities. Add three, mo two more things. Civilian nuclear attack. Unlimited power. Unlimited um, power consumer goods factors goes down by 10%. Maybe just to prevent you from getting that 10% consumer goods, perhaps, maybe? Oh, uh, let's do this one. Galit Shefa? I like your red hair. Oh, baby. Prepare for the worst. I mean, that's, I mean, that's really strong, too. More, Way more encryption. 25%. Nuclear reactor construction speed. Let me die with the Philistines. I, I, it doesn't seem that overpowered, honestly. Like, it seems good and all, but it's not overpowered. But anyways, I'm going to throw you guys over here, too. 
We have 30 divisions. A strong Israeli defense force. Div soldiers and divisions. Oh my goodness. Get me all excited, will you? Too late. I already am. Uh, infiltrate Ethiopia. In order to help the Jews of Ethiopia reach salvation, we must send personnel into the region and set up the necessary channels of Exodus. Might as well. Yeah, because these are like two week focuses. And we do need, do need to do more immigration as well. Oh, that is not good for the manpower. What are we on? Oh, extensive conscription has a bad. Mm. Yeah, no point to change up our uh, economy laws. Yeah, not bad overall. I mean, this is honestly, as you can tell from the title, this is the finale, basically, of this uh, episode, but still. Like, oh, you still have a good. Oh, Greece. Ethiopian militias. All faithful Ethiopian Jews are used to a harsh and brutal land, not unlike the landscape of. Or, yeah, of Palestine. Thus, when the time comes to defend our land via guerrilla warfare, we must train our brothers from Africa. Yes. Alright. Hop on in. Well, I'm not sure what's going to happen down here, so I'm going to send... Abyssinian Empire, huh? Send both of them there. Uh, can we actually go to war with them? Fight for Beta Israel. Okay. The town's coming to break Beta Israel away from the Ethiopian control, at least until we can complete the exodus. Enter a truce with them for until the 5th of May, huh? Mmm, you're not that good. Was it that group that we wanted to use? Or no, it was, uh, Lehi Militants, yeah. No. I don't even know what we have use anymore. We don't have enough manpower for this. Do we have enough infantry for this? Do we have enough manpower. What have they been using? Well, how much already do we have? Oh, we got more than enough. Can we actually do it like this then? No, we cannot. Reset, reset, reset. Just go, let's go one more. Let's go one more for now. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, what are we gonna get here? Yes. Sure, why not? All right, build the roads. Well, I'll do also first. Build schools first, because that'll be good. People's Republic of Fergana. Who? Fagana? Ah, Fagana who? Uh, we get 10 percent research speed for about a year. That's not too bad. Two weeks left, that's fine. Um, oh, there goes the sack for those guys. That's nice. Ah, yes. Cool, 43. Eh, let's go this one first. How strong are these guys? And we're probably just going to go to the service department. Do we actually win here? Oh, maybe not. Eh, this one's just giving us a little bit of trouble. Oh my gosh, look at their strength. It's just it's just dropping. Holy crap. Build schools, though. Followed up with, build roads. Our agents have found that channels of the Red Sea and the Nile are not sufficient for a rapid exodus. Sitting Israeli engineers and funds towards the construction of better roads and rail lines will aid our people and the Ethiopians, too. Alright, so how many men have we lost? About a thousand. We've killed. Jesus Christ! Israeli superpower is. Big booms! Oh my gosh! Wow. Machine assisted decryption is very nice. Um, if that's the case, can we beat the crap out of anybody else here? God, why doesn't Israel just beat up people in real life? No comment. Um. Beta Israel. I love their hats, man. I gotta get a hat. Jacques Fleitolovich. Oh, look at that. He's smart now. Project Solomon Schools. He's smart. Build roads. Alright. Cool. And a little bit ahead of time, but let's just get it over with. And, yes, please. Actually, can we go to... Oh, we need to go to war with the Ethiopian state. Oh, Retrius here, too. Oh, hello. Wait, what? We're just gonna pop with them, so... Uh, well, our faction's looking pretty good, I'd say. Euphrates Union? Pretty darn nice. Um, these guys aren't with us, though, which I don't like. Can we invite them to our faction? I don't know. Interrogation techniques? Cool. So what about this? What is this? Reunite with our brothers. Has completed immigration from Ethiopia. Oh. 
Okay, so we need to do that one first. Okay, uh, emigration from Yemen. Well, many other Jewish communities in various nations have altered and changed their doctrines, traditions, or worship practices substantially from the Jews of old. Yet many Jews have remained a community that is largely stuck to the original Hebrew customs. From the first Jews settling in the region, the various conflicts among Arabs that have devastated the Jewish population in the area, to the brutal acts of Maza, the Yemeni Jews have faced great struggles and strife within their communities. Now that a new homeland exists for Jews across the world, we expect many Yemeni Jews to arrive fleeing persecution and will accept them with open arms. We will greet them not as foreigners, but as long lost brothers and sisters. And I do know that I left, this, left the game running while we're doing this. At this point, uh, research doesn't mean too much to me. I'll be honest, it really does not, so. Immigration for Ethiopia. Okay, cool. 30% more monthly population would be nice. We're still mobilizing a little bit more, which is awesome, 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 awesome. All right. Lydia. I've always liked girls named Lydia. Thank you. More artillery. After this one, we'll grab some boys. Not a man's, but a boy's anti-tank rifle. All right. Hit him harder. What in doubt? What do you do to her? You treat her nicely. What? Oh! We came from desert. Yemenite Jews have historically been utterly oppressed and sometimes annihilated by foreign powers. Uh, like the historical em empires of Abyssinia, yet they've been persisted for the hundreds of thousands, even thriving as they slowly leave the poor kingdom and even poor dominion of Britain to join us in a, first, in a case for international Jewry. From the mountains of Sa'ana, Sana'a, come our people. Okay, so they must be doing, are they liberal or something here? They're despotic, so they must be doing, like, basically Goring's Wild Ride in TNO. Not TNO, Red Blood Dub, blah, blah, blah. Oh my goodness, too much TNO. And then after that, then we'll do reunite with our brothers. Our brothers. Our operations are almost complete. The Jews of Ethiopia are arriving in Israel in numbers now. Soon there'll be only the most stubborn remaining, and the and Beta Israel will be no more. No longer a core of this. Huh. Hmm. Odd. But okay, we'll go along with it, because why not? Yeah, that's not bad, but... Oof. This is the one they came from the mountains. Ethiopia has had a strange relationship with the Jews. We're claiming to be children of Israel, yet actively, actively harming our kind, they've been at best hostile and worse already genocidal. Therefore, it's one of our key needs to help the Beta Israelis and bring them to the true home. You are all welcome here, my friends, under the guidance of Papa Albert. Papa Albert says, Come home, come home. We have enough for this, but we barely have enough for that. Wow. Wowzes. Wowzes and bowzes, as some might say. And we're still out of manpower. And you know what? Screw it. Screw this for now. Why do we have no manpower? Oh, we're trying to make our divisions bigger and thicker. Alright, immigration from Poland. Wow, 150%. Yes! I love the Poles. It came from the Pale and the cities. The new Jewish man. I love the Jewish man. It is a sad fact for many in Israel that the vast majority of Jews have forgotten their glorious heritage. This can be excused, however, by the fact that a Jewish state has not existed since the time of the Romans. Well, that's pretty normal. Germany goes to war with Poland. We can, however, fix this mess and bring back our glorious Hebrew roots for the good of Israel. We must not forget our heritage, the one thing that binds us all together, and we must instead face the birth of God's chosen people. Oh, yeah, we captured more equipment. I like that. Well, what's the point of that if they get, come back here? You don't look very Jewish, but then again, I'm not Jewish myself, but what what am I know, to know? I'm just playing a game. Mod. West Bank? Haha. -ha. And we'll get some more popular support here, too. Ah, uh, they came from the Pale and Cities. The Intermarium is an inherently anti semitic however, it is clear that the people within the Intermarium's governments have beliefs in assisting our government in bringing the Jews to the Zionist home. As sounds of Poles, Belarusian, and Ukrainian Jews come to their home, new home, we can only wonder, will they still speak Yiddish? Honestly, I think that's it for the campaign. There's really not much else here. Um, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, actually, yeah, we did all that stuff already. Um, we're already pushed done with this. Modern Artillery? There's Modern Artillery. Defense operations, of course, and the established IAF, the newest theater of warfare, offers Israel a chance to punch for its, above its weight. With a proper air force, we can dominate numerically superior ground forces. Secure aircraft deals, which would be very nice. Women in the air force. All the citizens of Israel shall come to serve the country, as we're surrounded by from all sides. Women are not strong enough to wield heavy weaponry, but the concentration and agility should make them perfect pilots for our air force. Yes. There you go. Have fun with that. You guys keep researching and doing your good stuff. Load up with women in the Air Force? Yes, yes, we just heard that one. Support from above. We love ruthless training. Oh, baby, yeah. So the future of aerial combat. So I guess, uh, you know what? 
at this point, there's really not, there's literally nothing else for us to do. I'll be honest, there's like nothing else for us, for here to, for us to do. I mean, I guess technically we could wait till 1944, but it really doesn't look like there's anything else. Um, these people are led by Countess Arabia Iskandar, Iskandar Ibn Ishak. I don't know, I like saying Middle Eastern names. I, I probably say them all wrong, but I don't know, I always like doing that. I mean, I think, I'm actually very impressed with how we did or performed as Israel. Because right now, look at this, look at this faction. Israel has beaten up the Lebanese. Okay, so maybe they're not super impressive. But we also beat up the Jordanians. Maybe still not super impressive, but we beat up the Syrians. Not too bad, maybe not super, super impressive, but we also beat up the Saudi Arabians. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And Ethiopia, no, that's the Kingdom of Italy beating those guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, I... What happened to Poland? Oh, Germany ate them off, that's right. Okay. Italy is... I think they're going to get touched in ways they don't like. Well, maybe they like it. I don't know. They're Italian. They were, they're were they a little boot, so... Um, of course, Germany didn't have a lot of manpower either. Oh, never mind. The new Jewish man! So I guess at this point, there's really not much else for us to do here. Look at that. I like that thing. Establish IAF. Oh, two guns over Israel! The three soldiers stared confused at the sky as an entire squad of fighter planes pranced high above the military base in the Hebron Mountains. Twenty-one planes, the sergeant counted. They wore ens ensigns and colors that he couldn't recognize, but they didn't behave like spies. If there were enemies inside those fighters, a subtle discharge of machine gun fire might have indicated such a thing, but so far they only danced elegantly above their heads. As the group uh, stared amazed at the spectacle, a corporal walked past them. That's Cohen, Sarge. All the newspapers went crazy about him yesterday. The group stared at the corporal blankly. A Cohen in Israel didn't seem all that special. Uh, Morris Cohen. Two uh, guns Cohen. Madman fought in China. Everyone says he's brilliant. Seems he finally decided to fly all the way back home. Even brought some friends as well. Before he had a chance to finish his explanation, Cohen and his men had already zoomed away from the area beyond the horizon. No doubt to make similar surprises to more bases. A night in the sky. Modern artillery, of course. Defensive operations. I definitely want to try the other routes here, too. Um, what was the other stuff here? Was that it? Oh, is this a few? Um, I mean, there's gotta be something here. So, but let's see. Focus. Focus. Dot. New Chicorinos. Einstein's nuclear program. Disarm nuclear capabilities. Unlimited power. Put that for the worst. And then let me f die with the Philistines. Cool. But I think that's gonna be it for us. Because that's really all the content. But I've really actually enjoyed this campaign. And I've been waiting for so long. If you know me from this channel. I've been waiting so long to play as with Israel that has a unique focus tree even though I need to play as the one I think they have one Cold War Iron, Mo Iron Mod anyways regardless if you enjoyed the short campaign leave a like subscribe if you're new check out my discord link in the description below let me know who actually plays next whether you want me to play as Iran try another route for Israel just let me know in the comments below thanks for watching though guys and have a tremendous 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 rest of your day